What's up YouTube, Big D here. It's time to talk about some thing that has appeared on the news. And this ain't nothing political or something. This is just uh, based on a TV show that real life happened uh, with this crazy guy. We could call him crazy because he is crazy. Let me read you the article. I'll put a link down to two of the articles from Elliot Daily, Elite Daily and the Daily dot dot com. Now, let me tell you this, I'll read it, this one's the shortest article I could tell you, and it'll sum it all up, and I'll talk to you about it, what it all means. A British teenager killed and dismembered his girlfriend to be like the character from the Showtime series, Dexter. Dexter. I love Dexter. According to the Metro, 16-year-old Stephen Miles from Surrey stabbed his girlfriend, Elizabeth Thomas, in the back of the head. Sons of Anarchy style, huh? He then used his father's tools to cut her body up and place the parts in a plastic bag. Nice for a TV show, but in real life, it's fucked up. An investigation discovered that Miles looked up to Michael C. Hall. I look up to him too, but do you see me cutting people in half? It's supposed to be a secret. No, you don't see me. <laughs> a serial killer who only targets murderous, sadistic criminals who have been punished, who has not been punished by the justice system. Miles, diagnosed with autism, has been sentenced to 25 years. You're 17, 16, 25 years? Boy, when you get out, you're not going to be the same. He'll probably commit suicide in prison. Who knows? But though it's not clear where he will be placed due to his age, he described Thomas' murder as a project to the court. Now, Miles has this alternate personality named Ed living inside of him that told him to kill Thomas. He told his sister after the murder, Ed made me do something bad. I quote that. And uh, after that, you know, Thomas' friends described her as really funny and really kind, saying she often stood up for miles to her peer, er, to their peers. What do I think about this, man? Honestly, I love Dexter. And we all have a psycho part in our brain. We all have a part where we want to break down and do some messed up fucking shit. Now, if I was a psycho, which I'm not, but if I was a psychopath who killed, I would do a Dexter way. I love Dexter's way of killing. I love how he does it. I think it's very fun and erotic. Now, I would do that, but I'm not like that. Now, in real life, this is really messed up, and this girl's innocent. She was like, what, 16, 17? You read the article. She didn't deserve to die. She was young. She didn't do anything bad. She stood up for this guy. She dated him. And then he goes and... Uh, personality. Boom, 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 boom. And then he regrets it for the rest of his life. But then he just goes on insane mad. And now he's prison for 25 years. Good job there, bro. Good job. He also choked out somebody else. That's in the article also. Uh, past girlfriend. Or wanted to, at least. Uh, this guy's playing out, let's say, he's he's nuts, he's crazy, lock him up, put him in the nut house, he doesn't deserve to be outside, and poor girl, I'm, I'm sure they retrieved her body parts, and, yeah, poor girl, man, she didn't deserve to die that way, if she did, I mean, god damn, <laughs> I'd try to do a smoky dog right there, but damn, why, that's crazy, man, crazy, 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 uh, what a way to go. And honestly, this guy, uh, I'll put a picture at the end to show you how they look. Messed up. They're, they're messed up people. And not the girl, but the guy and his alternate personality. But uh, Dexter himself? I don't know. The show's pretty awesome. Don't hate on the show. Don't be like, it's Dexter's fault. Dexter did this. We must cancel TV forever. No, it's not Dexter's fault. He looked up to Dexter. Oh, I look up to Dexter too. Why do you think he's in the middle? Why do you think he's in the middle of my posters? Because I like Dexter. I look up to him. As a writer. And as a character. A personality. I don't want to kill people. But this guy takes it too seriously. You can't draw the line from reality to personality. He maybe watched the show and he was thinking of himself his in brain and then he developed a different personality just like Dexter does. You know, tonight's the night. And different personality, you know. Father by day, killer by night, you know. Anyway, comment down below, let me know what do you guys think about this? You know, does he deserve twenty five years? I think he deserves life. Poor girl, man, and her family, and this guy is truly going to burn in hell, uh, for sure. He's crazy as it is, so fuck it, you know. And is it really worth...
killing somebody, like a girlfriend or something, is it really worth going to hell just because you killed this girl that, you know, because a personality told you to, oh, kill her, kill her. No, just say, shut up, you know what, I'm going to go eat some cereal. Simple as that, but whatever. They don't do it the way I tell them to. They just go straight off and blast nuts, man. Anyway, share this video. Let everyone know that Dexter hopefully will come back to TV because I'm waiting for Dexter. I love Dexter. Until next time, hope all of you enjoyed. And maybe another topic will come up soon where I'll talk about it. Until next time, may the spot be with you. Always. I could hear that theme song of Colin, baby.